Hello and welcome to Breathing Corpses, a Thief 2 fan mission by French DK. Let us begin. The stone cannot know why the chisel cleaves it. The iron cannot know why the fire scorches it. When thy life is cleft and scorched, when death and despair leap at thee, beat not thy breast and curse thy evil fate, but thank the builder for the trials that shape thee. The Hammer Book of Tenets. You did an excellent job at Stalkreath's mansion, and I am sure it was no easy task, considering how little you knew about the place. You truly are a skilled thief, living up to your reputation. I'm contacting you here again for more work. This time it is an old Hammerite burial site that I need you to rob for me. The place is kept secret by the Order of the Hammer. The reason behind this is that it contains relics of great value, among which the first icon, a golden hammer, and the rotten sun, some kind of orb, are to be found, and I need them. Understand that the place is rarely spoken of, and no thieves have ever made it back. Thus the area will surely be heavily guarded and hard to sneak into, given its importance to the Hammerites. It is a sacred place, you see, and as far as I know, there is only one way in, hidden in the hills far away from the city. I can only provide this rudimentary map, it isn't much, but at least you will have a basic understanding of which place connects to which. I am ready to offer you a great amount of money for this one work, enough to retire the way a nobleman would like to. Oh, and one last thing. I am sure you already figured this out since you have been in many places of that kind. But allow me to advise you to bring some holy water with you. You never know how the Hammerites take care of the dead. Good luck, Mr. Garrett. Well, yes, the title of the mission kind of gave away that there might be some undead, right? <laughs> okay, so they've done three different things with the difficulty levels on this mission, per the read me, and they said Heretic is a way of trying to put a twist on things. So let's read that one last. Heretic, Thief, and Saint. a Thief. You were told about the existence of a secret ancient Hammerite burial site miles away from the nearest city. Not a single book or register refers to this place, so it is very likely filled with treasures. One of them is the first icon, a precious Hammerite artifact. You should be able to get a nice price for it. Steal it. Another relic is said to be contained within these tombs. Not much is known about it, as no Hammerite has ever mentioned it. How do people know these things? If no one writes them down, no one ever mentions them. Well... You should be keeping an eye open for an orb of some sort called the Rotten Sun. Yeah, not at all a uh, ominous name. The existence of these catacombs is kept secret to everyone, it seems, except whoever is providing this information. This might imply that we are about to enter the wealthiest Hammerite site ever. How's, is that an objective? It's still not got a gold number associated with it, it's just like... <laughs> not, nothing of that reads as an objective. Once you was only to catacombs. Optional. The Vault of Sadler is located in these tombs. They used to be a wealthy family centuries ago. Steal whatever legacy they left behind. It may be worth a lot. Optional. A rare mixture called the Astral Powder, whose secrets of fabrication are now long forgotten, is said to be located in these tombs. Said by who? Nobody knows about these tombs. How do... What? You make it a nice prize for it. Steal it. But it's kept secret to everyone, and yet... Ah... Uh... These people, when you're writing your things, make, make them make sense on their own terms. Never mind. Saint. Optional. The dead need not to be disturbed. Be a saint and leave everyone unharmed. Okay. I don't think I want to do that. What's heretic go? The place is ancient and will probably be filled with old bones. And Agar's sword is still yours. Kill everything on your way as a heretic. Kill everything. No, see, that's not my, my way of playing either. I think I think Thief is what I want. I don't want to not kill everyone. Although it's it's optional on saying, right? 
No, um, let's 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 do thief. Thief seems to be where I where I where I think I will have the most enjoyment. Rotting. Instead of loading, instead of rotting. Great. Okay, we've got 900 gold. That's not very much. Two of these to buy, and we can't even afford... One. We can't afford two of them. Uh, upon ignition, a violent deflagration will blast the area. This device should be used at a safe distance, ignite it with any fire source, or even a flare. Holy water bomb. This mix of holy water and flammable chemicals will ignite upon shock. It is wise to maintain a safe distance as the blast is very powerful. That's quite cheap. I think I'm going to have to buy one of those. Uh, and I'm going to buy a healing potion because I will almost certainly need it. See, this sounds more fun than that. And we have very few water arrows. We don't have enough money to make the holy water useful. To buy enough water arrows to make it useful. We might find some, I don't know. Um, I got a sword. Taken from the Iron City, the sword is imbued with a great power. Use a strong attack to unleash it. Other than that, this sword is quite regular. Okay, strong attack is special. Vine arrows. Uh, what else do I want? That's moss. I don't think I want noisemakers. Fire arrows might be good. I'm going to take another holy water bomb. They're pretty cheap. I'm going to take another one of these, and that's all my equipment. And we'll just have to make do. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, we've made our way over the hills. Close until further notice. You know, good practice our archery. Not very good. <sighs> I'll take it back. It seems that there has been a misunderstanding when I was hired as caretaker of this tiny graveyard. At first, I saw this job as a great opportunity to earn money and flee the cities, as well as some debts. But, but soon, I began to feel that the people who hired me had forgotten something. Indeed, I was told to keep the place clean and to take care of the garden. Yet when I arrived, I was surprised to find out that there were no gardens to be taken care of, nor any key to the two other buildings. I only have access to this small shack I sleep in. I was told there would be a hammerite in the small chapel, but I was not able to make contact with him, and it has been a week already. I guess I will simply guard the place and this third building. It looks like a vault of some sorts. Maybe the whole graveyard is owned by one man. Got a mine, that's that's nice. I'll take that. And a nice gold cup. Right, I see. Uh, that's not my lockpicks. Ah. Some sort of field there. High security gate. Look safe. Electrical hazard. Hearing zombie noises too. Well, maybe in here is the way to turn off that electrical gate. Is there a hammer right in here? I see there's a lift. Doesn't go back up again. Hmm. Odd, alright. Oh, we had a rudimentary map, so we should look at the rudimentary map. Uh is this where we are? That's more than a rudimentary map, that's an extremely detailed map. Entrance. No, that's the entrance we haven't got to, right? This we're still in the hammerites area. Can't hear any see any or hear any sign of anyone being here. 
I was sent to this remote place without any explanation by the Hammerite Council. I was told to sit and make sure that no one comes around and that the security gate works as intended. I was also forbidden from entering the vault. Oh my, this remote outpost sure is bleak. But if it is the Builder's world, then I shall comply without any hesitation. The security gate buzzed loudly in the middle of the night. When I went back up to check if everything was still in order, things were eerily normal. But as I was about to go back down, the gate flashed and drew streaks of light wildly. Something was disturbing the device. I could not manipulate it in such conditions. I would have obviously gotten badly injured by this impressive demonstration of pure energy. The only logical thing I came up with was to turn off the turbine. Things came back to normal afterwards. Maybe an upcoming storm or a feeble earthquake disturbed the circuits. Who knows? A man came by today. He settled in a small shack up there and kept sneaking around trying to get in. Fool. Whenever the opportunity shows up, I will smash his skull in the builder's name. I hate that buzzing sound he keeps making. Gutsy, sneaky thief. Gutsy, sneaky thief. Filthy sneaky thief, filthy sneaky thief, filthy sneaky thief, filthy sneaky thief, filthy sneaky thief. Someone has had a lot of time on their hands and not much on their mind. Except filthy sneaky thief. Okay, there's a locked door here with a key that needs a key. Did he keep a key by his bed perchance? Seems not. <laughs> and nothing on top. Okay. Well, that's the turbine controls. We suddenly, suddenly hear the turbine. Come back to that in a minute. He's got a little rare chapel. Oh, a mine and a fire arrow. That's a nice combo. He's got a font there, which I don't know what it does. Another fire arrow. Well, it seems a good thing I didn't buy fire arrows or uh, flash bombs because we're getting given some. We don't seem to be being given healing potions and holy water bombs. I don't know if that's a healing or a holy water font. Uh, I mean, I guess I can find out, right? I guess it's healing. I don't know. You have successfully rotted, it says, when you quick save. That's extremely cringy. Alright, well, let's... <sighs> Where did you come from? Filthy sneaky thief here. He doesn't look entirely alive. It's quite not alive, actually. Do you have a key on him, actually? Oh, I see. That's where he came from. He was just on the toilet. And we do get a healing potion after all. So we don't disturb his controls. If you've got plenty of heretic, I would have had to kill him, but I'm, I'm happy enough to leave him here. Must have been a long time since anyone was here. So he wanted to smash the face of this guy in, and there's no sign of this guy, so. Maybe he did. Oh, I'm going to do a, a proper save here. 
Right, so now our map could hopefully be useful. Oh. We might have to pick the lock. Just what do you think you're doing? It's on to me? Okay, so we've got the entrance here. Stairs down. Right, so we're on this part. What are we trying to do? We're trying to get the first icon, the rotten sun, Saddler's legacy, the astral powder, and Slut Vault question mark to the knave. It's not clear how that connects to this. Funeral home, all on tombs, the morgue, the ossuary. To Lud's Vault. Okay, so Lud's Vault should connect to the Hall of the Screaming Flesh. Are there undead? Who knows? So, no idea who Ken Helm is, no idea who Lud is, neither of those seem to connect to anything we've got. The Rotten Sun question mark here is the only hint we have as to where we might... Where does that even go? I don't know. Well, let's we're heading west and heading to Lud's Vault, I guess? I don't know. Oh. Uh, I mean, he just likes to hang out there, does he? I guess we won't go that way. Oh, he's got a mushroom in him? That's what it looks like. You saw nothing. What else am I seeing there? Nothing. Oh, there's a passageway that way I didn't notice. Well, it's heading east. That'd be this passageway, right? Yeah. Oh, there is a chest there. <laughs> is there anything up there? No. Oh, that goes down. Maybe I don't want to go down yet. He saw me up there. Let's just move on. Move along. Stealing from the dead, eh? How ruthless of you. You're not like the others. You're something else. I'm a thief. They fled as soon as they saw what lies in these tombs. I've seen zombies before, you know. Blood Vault. Okay. 
the library to the nave. I mean, it seems like that might... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hearing whistling. And that's definitely a... Uh, undead hammerite. Hearing. Sounds like a life hammer right down there. And locks doors, okay. How do I get down without maybe waking him up? We have seven of these, let's leave one behind as a. It can be our way up and down. Safety. Well, he's not an alive hammerite. And I got a glimpse of me too. not alive. You just think you are. How do you hum with your mouth open like that? That's very weird. Okay, well there's traps here, that's clear. Triggers them. That looks like a trap fireball trap in the ceiling. What is that? Coin. A mortuary coin. Be seen. Other friend comes back. Okay. So we know where these stairs go. That's that should connect to same area as Lud's fault, right? are closing themselves. So I have to leave it open. 
Oh, we could maybe go through there. Which direction is that? That's north. And there's our fly struck novice. And I hear our uh, whistling. How much thinks he's still alive? Well, that's an angled room. That, is that a library? Are we in here then? Yeah, that would make sense, right? We come down those stairs. And that's. Yes, yes. Okay. Somebody in the library as well. Okay. Interesting. look this way zombie man why don't you look the other way it's more fun to look the other way I don't, yeah that's right note about the old man the old man passed away one month ago it appears that his heart failed him as many of us already know he was one of our most prominent priests and contributed a lot to our order it is our duty to ensure that he rests in peace Although the old man was devoted to the Builder and lived a pious life, he was always faced with the question of duality, constantly questioning both our goals and our ways. It became such an important matter to him that he began to behave in this bizarre way where he would constantly arrange things so that they end up in a perfect cemetery. And minutes later his mood would suddenly change and he would muddle it all up again. As things keep changing places in the chapel, which he was responsible for, I am assuming that the old man desires something. I am just too puzzled as to what it is. Okay, chapel, chapel. Ladder. We can actually pick up and carry with us. We do get healing potions given to us, alright. And so far, no sign of me needing one. Just, you know, good news. What is this? Just a thing? Oh, there's a passage on top. It's a long way down. I don't think I'm getting down there safely. <laughs> Up here, all right. Quiet. I hope he doesn't come in here. Or we could be in a lot of trouble. Doesn't sound like it. Yeah, he's going to the library. Which is locked. But there's no way for us to hide in here, is there? Oh no, there is actually. Wait for him to come out and then we can check the library out. So um I'm just going to mark the rooms I've been in, right? And we've been in a bit of Blood's Vault, but I'm not sure if we've explored it thoroughly. Does he have a key on it? 
unlocking and locking doors. Yes, he does. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. You, my friend, you peculiar. You seem fearless here. I will help you get him what you are looking for in these dreams, but you need to do me a favor first. Well, who even are you? The tombs are going through massive changes ever since those invasions started. As previously indicated by Grave Warden Moira, the dead have woken up and started wandering about, assumingly looking for out for intruders and for the precious astral powder for which they appear to have an obvious craving. But something within the tombs is changing. The invasions might have disturbed the dead to a point where the corpses are changing. For some of them, faces are wiping off. The others are falling apart, or tumours start appearing on their bodies. And for some of the very first dead buried here, their bodies get mangled in the most dreadful ways one can imagine. Never have we seen something like this before. We do not know what to do. Luckily, they have not shown any aggression towards us, so we can assume their behaviour remains unchanged. Hilda, do not forsake us. The Nave Key, alright. You, creation of the Builder, man of light, have walked out of the darkness to fully embrace the Builder's grace. May you walk forever in his sacred way, dedicate your life to being the perfect tool, and help the Builder put the wild men back on the straight and narrow. May you cross the Builder's way unharmed and live forever to help him achieve his great plans. Why did that go ding? Huh. Where's my key? Uh, whistling friend doesn't seem to be here. Let's chop down his beloved banner. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Okay, so that's east. So, up with that goes Sing, I guess. It's in the library. It's got to mean something. So I lock the door because I want to see if, if we've taken this guy's key, if he can still get in or whether he's going to get stuck there, which could be a problem actually. Hold! What is that there? It's a missing banner. Hammer and will forge and fire, chase away the hook and fire. Oh, he still has a key. He probably keeps it in that enormous open mouth of his. Ah, these are the quarters. No? That's not the nave. Alright. Something is strange here. Something is very strange about this room. Statue facing the wall, there's an unlit torch. There's a vase that can't be picked up. What does it all mean? I mean, I could try making a ton of noise. I was throwing a fire arrow at that, but I don't have a flare, right? I do have a ladder, and I have no idea how I'm going to use that. Didn't even light. Alright, well that's odd and wasteful. Uh something in here. Some kind of puzzle. There's not symmetry related problems here, but uh Something and this door I can't unlock, right? 
And yeah, okay. So this door needs a key. That's not a key, that's a key. Alright, well we shall have to come back to these rooms. If it goes south from here, we're going... I guess I don't know, to the nave? Let's see what's up this stairs briefly. Here's a plaque above that door, which presumably tells us something about it. Ah, okay, there's that hole. So I recognize that room from. was once holy water, now it's just water. There's something over there. Vigilance is our shield. Keeps us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened age. Are we really coming to investigate a door? I mean, he still has clothes himself, why would it... He really is, isn't he? Well, I guess I gotta wait for him. He saw me, but let's hope he doesn't think to come in here. back here. Right, because he turned around and saw me, that's why he came to investigate. Could drop down onto that passageway, but for the moment, what is over here? Nothing. I see nothing, but it does look suspiciously like it might be a doorway, right? Feels like it might be a doorway. I find it very, uh, silly feeling 
Hard to take seriously these hammerites that look like they're wearing a scary movie mask. is coming back, but he doesn't know we're in here this time. So we're just going to let him wander past. Okay, it's that guy there who could be a threat. towards this door. Hast someone come? By pump thief! Shit. I see thee, thou shalt not escape. Lost his face entirely, okay. Ouch! Never mind, maybe I'm gonna lose my face at this rate. to get the bodies, but let's hope he doesn't see me, otherwise we're going to have to do another round of attacks there. Well, the zombie should be easier to fight, right? Resolves. Okay. All right. Now that I can see him close up. It's like the cheeks are all kind of eaten out, and I don't know. The mouth blends into the collar in a way. Still looks. Still looks very silly to me. Come on, just go there. This guy's just got no face at all. a little bit. What's this? The covetous carcasses vault. To know that with our sword we can <laughs> deal with some of these creatures relatively easily. A lot of ways to go here. Um, I think we're not really on the map here, are we? There's a key that's facing south. That isn't anything on here, is it? Unclear. See if 
Some of these guys are going to be zombies that should be waking up when I go near, but they're not. Which is confusing. Where is this? So I have footsteps. Oh, I did. Zombie with a wild hairdo there. <gasps> Can I do this quietly? Don't know which way it's facing. Okay, he's facing to the right, I think. Now he's facing left. These particles should have not been they're configured wrong, right? Because they all move, even the ones that have released a move with his head. So that's it. That's interesting. His head is kind of blown open as well. Kind of spoils the effect when particles drifting up move as the head moves. Where are we though? Big square room, doors west, south and north. Does this match anything on that map? Doesn't really look like it does. <laughs> I do wonder if I should just like my sword in this guy when his back turns. Or just keep sneaking past him. It's just it's a very brightly lit room, it's just awkward to sneak, right? Lots of waiting. I guess it's not too bad, it's just the waiting. Hello, Assis. The warm embrace of the tomb. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a place I want to go. And there's another tomb down below. Hmm. Oh, that's the quarters key, okay. Cabinet key? Cabinet key? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't found a locked cabinet, have I? Why am I hearing a... Don't know where that is, but he can probably see right through this window, okay. We have two keys on this, on here. Oh, another quarters key and another nave key. Okay. I thought it was going to be like a puzzle of which key matched which chest. Yeah, that's transparent. What was that breakable? I hear thee. Show thyself in the open at once. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. Just nothing. <sighs> Except a mantle that fails. <sighs> The Saddler Dynasty. Saddler, Saddler. We have to steal the Saddler's legacy, okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, it's a little strange. Right. Let's just go see about the Saddler's legacy then. First, pop the banners down. Now these statues, I see, can all be manipulated in some fashion. Oh, the names. Sigma of Saddler the first, Bradley of Saddler the second. Oscar of Saddler the Third, Quixote of Saddler the Fourth, Ophida of Saddler, Havel of Saddler, Karim, Daniel, Voss, and Herulus of Saddler the Stillborn. So the Ninth and the Stillborn. Maybe they're not a puzzle, maybe they're just there because people want to have people remember them. Oh. Oh, right, this must be the, uh, this place, the Rotten Sun, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Whoa! Goes up quite a long way. The ground floor should be reachable, but, uh, anything below is, anything above is, I think, beyond... Beyond reach. How would they have constructed a place like this? Honestly. Almost as high as Hilbert's Hotel. Almost. That's close. So how am I going to get down? Am I going to just drop down from here? I'm going to cook. Maybe there's a better way to get down here. Is this the Saddler Tomb? Is this all the Saddler Tomb? Maybe it's not the place I marked on my map. It's not shaped the same way as this, right? There wasn't any other way out here. There also doesn't seem to be a safe way down. Hmm. Not all clearly goes somewhere this this way. Is it steal the saddler's legacy? Now I did notice when I came into this upper room that I heard a stone door closing. I probably heard the st that stone door opening, you know, actually. Yeah, there's another guy behind that door. They're waiting to come out. They're waiting to surprise unwary travelers. Or unweary travelers. Why my unfortunate noise making was perhaps a problem. Warm embrace of the tomb. Okay, so which way is it? Uh, west and up the road, right? I 
don't know what to do there. Oh, there's we've got our friend there. He's got a door as well that he's guarding. Maybe I should check that out. came through there. So that was... Where was that? We were... I was out here somewhere. I was trying to match up with some of this, but it didn't seem to make sense, so... Curious though if it's a plaque above this door. Oh, there's a door up there that would be worth checking out. I think. No plaque. Okay. Surely this guy can't see anything, right? Surely. So now we're here, so we know somebody patrols in here. So it would let me get down there, but I'll have a way back up. Yeah, there's our priesty friend patrolling towards us. Also seems to have lost his face. Doors really push hard when they close. Can't just prop them open by standing in front of them. Is that wood? I can see some loot up there. I guess it's one way to find out. It does count as wood. what I was trying to do, but you know, it kind of works. Oh, there's a trap there as well, quite clearly. the coin on the thing but it doesn't work that way right it's a little weird hmm <laughs> that's not good Me quite by surprise, I was not expecting a trap in the middle of the room there. I can't see any traps in this one, I don't know where it came from. And he's not triggering it, which is unfortunate.
No, another holy water bomb, another coin. A dirty key. So we've got two of these coins now. The read me says something about putting them in bowls, but these are just bowls that we pick up. Hmm. Don't know what to make of it. Yeah, there's no obvious place for that fireball to have come from. Who was the other guy who came investigating, by the way? And where did they go? So these are no, these are obvious traps as well. Oh, I guess he's down there. In fact, he's right there, and he saw me. And he's fast. was further than I thought it was, okay. You know what? Guess we, oh, we have this ladder, I don't know how to use the ladder. How does the ladder even work? Can I just put it down somewhere? No, I better use it on a thing. Some kind of thing. This guy's moved from his position as well, he must have heard something and gone to investigate. You know what, we're gonna go a little... I was gonna say we're gonna go a little bit heretic here, but uh, we're gonna wait till this gets facing away. That'll do. Did he hear that, or did he just... Did he open the doors, or did the doors open because I got hit by something? I think he... Heard it. I don't know what this motion set is that they use. It's like the same one the weird the, the weird dogs used in um, uh, Black Frog. I've seen it in a couple of other missions too. Don't recognize it from the stop motions, but maybe it's from System Shock too. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> None of you. All right. Oh, that's how we get down to the lower level. Okay. I think if I go down here, I can't get up. I get down. I can find our down, but I don't think. Well, maybe I could climb back up to find our right there. Or else everything looks too overhanging. Yeah, I can climb back up that one. Yes, this is the lower level. Oop. That looks like another trap. Oh, this is not the lower level of the room I thought it was. Where are we now, then? <laughs> Double trap. Hmm, I wonder if we can use that against this fellow. Hmm. 
maybe. If he's if he hurries up and comes this way, otherwise I'm gonna have to move. Do you know what? Let's find out the answer to that question. I was gonna say next episode. Okay, he's here. Let's let's do it. Let's try springing the trap on him. For funsies. He's not kind of he's not really in the middle, is he? There he is. Oh, it only fires at once. Oops. Oh well, too late. Well, in that case, we will continue this next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.